All right, what's the what's the scary part of this? Tell me. Abandoned amusement park. Let's read the facts. Let's do some reading. Fun town souvenirs. Country hams. Fun town USA. Oh, we love Fun Town USA. Gun Town. Someone typed incorrectly. <laughs> Gun Town? He's typed Gun Town twice. <laughs> now I'm not so sure that America's idea of Fun Town is Gun Town. Fun Town Mountain was a Wild West amusement park. Maybe it was Gun Town. It was a Wild West amusement park in Cave City. The park featured a sky lift to a re replica western town. It featured live gunfights and a simulated hangings. And simulated hangings. I've actually seen a simulated hanging in the Ned Kelly Museum out in the middle of Australia. Uh, like for a camping thing we did. We went to a school camp in like year five and we walked into a room. This is insane if you think about it now. <laughs> we, we went to, it, it takes you through Ned Kelly's life and you get to go through a replica of his house and it takes you through like the gunfight and everything and then it takes you to him getting tried in court and then you walk into a room, the tour guide shuts the door, all the kids are standing in the dark and you hear him getting read his final rights and his final like words and he says his final words and then all of a sudden there's a flash and a bang and a body flies from the ceiling and <laughs> gets hung in front of all the kids. And there was one kid in our group who was like, I've been to this before. I'm prepared. And he like blocked his ears and I'm looking at him and I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, I remember what's going to happen. And I'm like, what's going to happen? And so I'm sitting there like, what's going to happen? And it was like terrifying. But they're like, oh, it's Ned Kelly. We all know he was hung. And like, it's for, it's a prisoner thing. Like, it's insane. <laughs> Like, when I think back at it now, I'm like, oi, 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 like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude, it was terrifying. <laughs> and, like, every, and then all the all the parents and, and like, the, the teachers are all laughing because the kids got a fright <laughs> by the body hanging from the ceiling. Dude, it's insane. I'm pretty sure it all burnt down in the bushfires, like, ten years ago, but I, it might still be there. The best part, though, was there's there's a part where you sit and listen to the tour guide talk, and it's like a it's an old timey bar, like an old timey pub from Australia, where it's got Ned Kelly as a young man trying to like seduce women at the bar, and he's talking to the barman, and there's all these like models that have been like sculpted and like positioned around. Some of them are like animatronic, and there's a dog leaning up against a wall, pissing in a bucket, and there's like a, it's like a water feature. And the whole time the woman is talking, me and a bunch of the boys were sitting on the side, and we were all giggling over this dog peeing in a fucking bucket. We did. I didn't really hear a word she said because I was so focus on this thing is so funny and then in another room they had another thing and there's a little girl who that it was like a family getting robbed by ned kelly or something and there's a little girl holding a teddy and these models are quite old at this point like they're they're those ones where like the paint's starting to chip you know and they're like really creepy and it's like this little girl in a nightgown holding a teddy being like crying being like please sir please don't hurt my family and it's so creepy i literally sat there the whole time just like locking eyes with this doll because it scared me so much like as a child I was like this is terrifying so I literally couldn't even focus on what you were saying because I was too focused on this little girl holding a bear crying it was so creepy but yeah would recommend the Ned Kelly experience that was it was great <laughs> good time in 2015, Will Russell and eccentric businessman from Louisville purchased the property. Where he vowed to transform it into a roadside capital for the world. He rechristened it the Fun Town Mountain. There's the confusion. I thought he did a typo twice. And he rethemed it around his pop culture obsession. Um, that's everything. That's literally what I would do. <laughs> that's literally what I would do. <laughs> That's that's everything. Love him. An eccentric millionaire. I want to be the eccentric millionaire. Funtown Mountain would be open in the summer of 2015, but only to remain open for several weeks. Will Russell has arrested on drug charges. Oh, Will. You've let us down, dude. After this, he began to exhibit strange and erratic behaviors. What? Oh, no. He's your type. <laughs> 
On one occasion, Russell showed up at a Funtown mountain and began splashing paint all over the front gift shop. As his behavior worsened, the staff would walk out. What a story, dude. What the hell? Russell's behavior continued to spiral out of control as he was arrested multiple times um, over the next several weeks. Russell began living in the fun town by himself and posting pictures on social media of himself destroying the property and his own valuable collection. Dude, is this what's gonna happen to me? Dude, am I gonna buy a fucking shopping mall and then go crazy and get arrested and then break it all? Is this what's gonna happen to me? Ugh, you knew how to have fun, dude. He, honestly, goals. If you're gonna spiral out of control, this is the way to do it. This is your horoscope. Russell would send out messages on social media inviting the public to come to the park and take anything they want. Oh man, I wish I was following on social media. This degenerate, this degenerated quickly as the fun town as it was essentially looted by the public. Dude, I would have loved to steal some shit from that dude. Oh man. The town of Cave City grew tired of Will Russell's erratic and potentially dangerous behavior and condemned the park. Wow, man. What a story. This is wild. This is what the abandoned park looks like today. Oh, bitch. Am I excited, dude? I want to see this shit. Oh, no. Welcome to Fun Town Mountain. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> They've just Paint it over the G and put an F in a completely different color. <laughs> to fun Town Mountain. Uh, translation there's cocaine on every service. Yeah, dude. Relive the Old West and it's revive the Old West. The lol. YOLO. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> YOLO, LOL, REVIVE. He's added a V to the Relive the Old West. Revive the Old West. Oh no. <laughs> this is great. This is insane, man. This is crazy. The handprints? What the heck? What's happening here? Oh, this is when- is this where he, he put paint all over everyone? Probably. Yeah, this is the paint. This is the paint. Oh! Is there anything left, dude? I would take everything. I would take everything. There'd be nothing left. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, love her, dude. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, dude, it's so destroyed, man. Dude, if only he didn't lose it and... Dude, why is there a million photos of the same thing? What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god. Is this part of his episode? Did he take like a million photos of the same area in the park and print them all off and then fucking throw them around the room? Like what? Fun timey selfies. Funto. Oh god. Did he do this himself? Did he make the props himself, dude? What the heck? Okay, fucking Colonel Sanders on a chairlift. Classic. Ew, is that a clown? Ew, ew. That's like a plastic clown. Oh, that's like an animatronic clown. That with the face smashed in. Oh no, not the animatronic bears. Oh jeez, we've seen how this goes. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. I'd set fire to that immediately. Smooth as silk. Oh, it's open! Take a sip. If he doesn't take a sip, then he's a bitch, dude. Take a fucking sip. It's alcohol. It's gone now. Oh, these are the old-timey selfies? Oh, yeah, dude. I've literally seen everyone does these. They all look the same as well. My ex had a bunch of these of his family. With the old-timey selfies. They're usually called old-timey portraits, but this guy apparently had an obsession with pop culture. So, that's why he's calling them selfies, dude. Oh, Jesus. That's wild, man. Ew, is that a doll? Oh, yucky, yucky. Wouldn't pick that up, dude. No, 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 no. 
Dude, the fact that these are all people's photos, I'd love to go through these and look at them. Like, just seeing people's old-timey photos that they never purchased. Like, that's wild. Or that they had, like, copies of. Like, that's so cool to look at. Costumes, of course. Ew. Yucky. <laughs> Something about, like, clothes that get worn by that many people. I hate. I couldn't put that on my body. Oh. My God. I love how we're just gonna look at that once and go past it like it's not the craziest thing. <laughs> Ew. Ew. There's all the paint. I love how you can see the paint that he threw on the walls when he went crazy. Like, that's so cool. Like, it's just like, it's like a part of history. Oh, he was barefoot. Of course. Of course he was barefoot. Why wouldn't he be barefoot? Is this dude still alive? You'll have to look him up. If he was that eccentric, surely he'd- he might be in prison. It just said that they- they- the government took it over. I know him, Wood Spine No Head is a lovely guy. Ew. Oh, God. Someone tried to take the face off the gorilla doll. Oh, I hate that. Ew. Dude, like porcelain, like glass dolls. Probably the psych ward? Yeah, maybe that psych ward we looked at. Let's have a ride on the fucking, on the ski slope thing. Whatever these things are called. I hate those ski lift things. They make me so uncomfortable. I always feel like I'm gonna, <laughs> like, fall out. I've only ever been on one and I hated it the whole time. Even as a child, I was like, nah, not for me. I've just not, I've got a real big fear of heights. Oh my god, that's triggering. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Imagine being a teenager struggling with your weight and then the guy the guy that rides like uh heavy. Stand in the heavy side and you're just like <laughs> like oh god, why is why is that a thing? I hate that. Light heavy? Haunted hotel. Oh shit, that was like the Beetlejuice one. I used to love the haunted ride at Luna Park. James and Lula. Charm and Charles. Ew. Oh, it's like a... It was like a model playing, um, piano. As far as the place probably is haunted. I mean, I don't know if anyone's died here, though. Super Mario Goomba eyes. Yeah, dude. I used to love the haunted ride at, um... Oh, God. At Luna Park. I was terrified of it as a child, and then I went on again as, like, a preteen, and I was like, this is not scary at all. It's And then it was honestly funny. These days I, I get so jump scary though that I probably couldn't do it. Just from like the fact that the stuff jumps out at you though. I went on one haunted ride when I was in, um, ew. When I was in America though, like one of those ones at like Disneyland where you walk through and a bunch of people jump out at you. Um, I went on a prison break ride at Luna Park. They had like this special feature which was prison break. And you had to go through and a bunch of prisoners would lunge out at you and scream and touch you and all this other stuff. And we got in- we were in the training thing. I went in with- because Ethan's sister wanted to go in. And I was like, I don't know but I don't think this is for me. And like, I was really young and I was like, I don't think this is for me. And then she was like, no, 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 we'll go in and it's for- it'll be fun. And I was like, I don't know, man. And then we got- if we were going through the first hallway and I like lost it. Oh, that's awful. I was like crying and I was like a mess. And then the, the person was like, are you sure you want to do this? And I was like, I don't want to- I want to get out. So I had to like leave and it was so embarrassing, but it was terrifying, dude. Like as a kid, I was like, yeah, let's go through this ride where a bunch of strange men run at you and touch you and pretend to be prisoners. Yeah, it sounds like such a fun time. Like I was like, no, thank you. And so I never wanted to watch Prison Break after that. I was traumatized. But um, we went through one of these sorts of rides where it was like one of those haunted house ones where like the same sort of thing, like people jump out and like try and like touch you and and like they pretend to be in like psych wards and people chopping off each other's heads and stuff and it's all just jump scares and then my parents wanted to go on it because it was like a classic Disneyland ride that they went on when they were younger so they were like oh let's let's go on it oh love the fucking mannequin head dude who is that that was like the guy from fucking uh what's a face fuck what's it called Rocky Horror Picture Show with the fucking hair receding hairline oh this looks it was this mini golf haunted mini golf love it um but yeah, so the 
we went on one of those ones and my parents wanted to go on it so bad but I didn't want to be left alone in Disneyland and they like basically made me go onto it like they were like come on it's not that scary yada yada and I was like I don't think you guys understand my level of fear with stuff like this <laughs> I was like I don't think you guys quite get it and uh, they definitely didn't get it because I spent the whole time I was like 16 at the time and I was like I can't be part of this especially after the prison break thing I think I was well and truly traumatized from like strangers jumping out at you and all that sort of stuff so I literally spent the whole time holding onto my dad's arm with my eyes closed and my head down just so he could guide me through it because they would not accept that I wouldn't go through it they made me go through it and I was like all right then well you've now got a fucking clinger so I literally sat there with my eyes closed and my head down holding his arm getting through it and still there were people scaring me and jumping at me and like touching me and I hated it dude no thank you dude <laughs> my fucking claustrophobic ass no way dude just a social violation, yeah, dude. It was so scary. I hate that shit. That's not for me. Always haunted house things. I know, like Eric from pretty much it, like loves that stuff, and he always goes to those. I, I think he even worked at one at one time. I I can't do them though. Oh god, that was like something I would have made as a child. <laughs> that was like my crash test Barbies that I used to have. <laughs> Yikes. Gun Town Haunted Hotel Charm and Charlie Saloon music. Scary sound effects. Love that. Love the CDs with the fucking writing on them. Seven-legged calf. Excuse me? Seven-legged calf. How's that even... What? Seven? That's not possible, dude. Like, maybe one extra leg, but... <laughs> seven legs? Do... Do not enter. Do not enter. Freak show? Gotta be. Gun Town Mountain. I love how they haven't replaced all the Gun Town stuff. It's just like, put an F at the front, you're fine. Oh, I love this. Gun Town. D Gun Town. Literally couldn't even replace all the all the, F the G's with F's. He's just like, ah, the first one's fine. But um, we looked at an asylum before that had still had power because it was on like a power grid thing for the, the hospitals and stuff. And they had retro computers that still had Windows 95 on them and they went through like the files and they were looking at the files. And I was like... You couldn't stop me. I'd have to take one of those computers, dude. That's all I want. I want a functioning Windows 95 computer. That's all I want in my life. If I don't, if I can't get functioning, even just to have the screen and have it being working enough that I could plug it into something and just have an image on it would be enough for me. Like, I just think they're so cool. I love it. I love it. Feed here. Oh, some poor fucking seven-legged calf, dude. The thing with that is, though... It's like, back then it was like, oh, a freak show, a freak of nature, like, God did a crazy thing. But in reality, it's usually, like, poor breeding and, like, weird conditions that cause the animal to come out with multiple legs. Like, that's just not some crazy thing that got shipped down from another- Four loco! Perfect. Perfect, did. But yeah, it's interesting. Is this where he lived? When he went crazy? Calendar, 2005. Oh my god, we love a calendar. Um, if you get your one million for staying at this place for a night, would you do it? I would 100% pass. If I could be with another person, I would stay here for a million dollars. Feed em corn, 50 cents. Are some animals are mistreated in circuses? Oh, for sure. Without a doubt, dude. A lot of people are mis were mistreated in circuses. Like anything with anyone with a crazy ability or like a woman with a beard, you know, like that sort of stuff. It's fun to feed pigs. Amen, dude. Hey, I all how did they don't get have the rights to Disney fucking No way, dude. There's no way that was definitely some illegal <laughs> Legal copyright stuff. There's no way they had the rights to those. It's just another theme park. Lucky lady. Mmm. Oh shit, is this the fucking. Oh god, that clown face. No, thank you. Your internet's dying? Oh no. Is that fucking Mario hanging from the ceiling, Jesus style? Is that Mario being crucified at the top of this stage? Dude. <laughs> America. <laughs> is that fucking... Is that Mario, dude? 
<laughs> being sacrificed to the American devils. Look at that, with America in the background. If this ain't just a perfect image of America in a nutshell, allow me to pray. <laughs> oh. hands love that, dude. Cougar bait. American blonde ale. Cougar bait. <laughs> Mario on a close for Christmas. Happy hands, uh oh. It's the sacrificed Mario that won me over. Dude, is that an untouched beer? Mmm, let's take a sip. He already bitched out on the fucking- Oh my god. Dude, where's Trisha Paytas? Someone take this off the wall and give it to Trisha Paytas to put in her bedroom, dude. This fucking Beetlejuice? That's sick, dude. Why her titty like that, though? Ew. Oh no. Is this an animatronics head, dude? Who beheaded the animatronics? Oh no, is that a furry suit, sir? No, no, no. Oh, who let the furries in, dude? Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Was this supposed to entertain the children? Because I would be fucking terrified. At any age. Was this for the kids? Like, this is some fucking- this is what, like, if you were a furry but you didn't have the funds to get a proper suit, this is what that shit comes out looking like, dude. No, and who's grandma wig? What bull has a fucking grandma wig? What? No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh my god. That's hilarious. Oh, not another baby doll. Why are there baby dolls everywhere? What theme park needs this many fucking baby dolls? Why are there baby dolls in every room? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> When I went to Disneyland, I didn't see one baby doll. Why are there baby dolls everywhere? Oh my god. That's so scary. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. Ew, and it's like silicon. Oh my god. That literally looks like he discovered an old woman's fucking head. Ew, and the dead eye. Oh, uh, God. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> Can he stop fucking fingering the fucking head and move on? Thank you. Love that clock of America? What a strange clock design. Oh, another fairy head. They definitely had a fairy convention here and it didn't go well. Most of them didn't get to leave with their head. Albino catfish. That's- oh my god, you can tell that it's painted. Dude, this is supposed to be like a cool specimen, and they've literally painted a catfish white. And they're like, look at the crazy albino catfish. And now that it's decaying, it's just painted. The paint is peeling. Oh no. Most of them didn't get to leave. Oh no, Santa. Gotta love Santa. With a broken nose. Who fucking beat the sh- Oh my god. Oh no. I, why- Why do clowns have to be a thing? Why can't- Can we just like, remove clowns from the general site, guys? Like, can we just get them out? October. Amen, dude. Whoa, what the fucking- Did you guys see the nose in that pumpkin? I won't go back, but- Gee whiz. Why are there bodies everywhere, dude? Why, who fucking split that mannequin in half? Don't touch his fucking... Ew, don't touch his hand. I hate that. I... Billy Lily. Classic Billy Lily, dude. Another fairy head! <laughs> What's at the fairy convention, dude? Oh, one of the slack ward beds made it through. Sick, dude. Jesus... Malverda. Mel Everybody play, pray. Thank you, Jesus. Who's that? Is that Santa's leg? Oh, Santa. Poor Santa, dude. Jesus Melberg. <laughs> Amen, dude. To him we pray. Oh, there's another Jesus. That's why Mario is being fucking um, drink all day. Amen, dude. She's like, what are you gonna do? I don't feel it. But th that's why G that's why Mario was being fucking sacrificed to the gods. He looks pimping, dude. He's sick. What is that? What? 
Dude, when they said like eccentric millionaire, like surely a bunch of the stuff that got taken was the cool stuff and they left behind the creepy things. I'd love to see the stuff that was there before it got looted. Like was there ever cool stuff or was this eccentric billionaire like not really doing a very good job? Because it doesn't feel like he did a lot, you know? I feel like he did a very good job. What is that? More mannequins? Dude, can we cut the mannequins, dude? A picture of Elvis. Now he should be at the Jesus altar, dude. That's the real Jesus here. What the heck is that? Alright, who came all over the mannequin head? What the fuck is this? What happened? What happened? Oh, those records. People didn't take the records. Billy Bob. This alcohol prop. This is where the animatronics probably were. That's why there's so many furry heads. This is where the animatronics were, dude. No. Dude, take the records. What are you doing? They're probably like Chuck E. Cheese music, but still. Oh, a deer head. We should give that to one of the fucking mansion people from uh, those house tours we do. God. Oh, jeez. Is that a fox with women's legs? That's a furry. Come on, man. This is... What is this? That's just a straight up very Elvis killing it. A piano. Beep, beep, beep. Now what's this? A coffin. <laughs> is this in case someone dies on the property? Why is there a coffin? Why is there a coffin? <laughs> is this a prop? Is this part of the Chuck E. Cheese show where they bring out the coffin and the kid gets to experience death? What's happening? An old painting, a creepy elephant, a real-life ram's head. They've got everything, dude. A creepy fucking horse head. A taxidermied... Is that the calf with six legs? Seven legs? Why is there a taxidermied calf? <laughs> what is happening? Why does that give off Izzy energy, dude? That's literally what she looks like. Oh, another furry head. Oh, God. Ah, oh, creepy. Another Elvis model. He is our hero after all. Another furry head. Dude, if any furries, any furries out there, if you guys need any costumes, come to this place, dude. They've literally got, like, so many heads to pick from. Is that a Yeti? That was at the Fortnite Yeti. Dude, Fortnite, this place should be suing. Who the hell is this? Is that a genie? Dude, this is insane. Yeah, the furry, there's probably so many more furry suits. They've just left the heads. They took the suits, which are probably, like... They have animatronics in them. Oh, and there's a de taxidermy deer with a broken ear. No, not his ear. Poor thing. Put it back. Fix him. I don't even... Ew. I hate this paper mache shit, dude. It's so gross. I don't even know how I, <laughs> how I got here, but I can't click off. Dude, welcome. Welcome. Let's go count how many furry heads we see. Is that where the live hanging shows would happen? I have a feeling that's a yes. Yeah, that's where they do the live hanging shows that they were talking about. A creepy teddy bear, paper mache bear, whatever the hell that is. A crow playing a keyboard. Hanging out. Oh god. See, this is, this is the nightmare part. This is awful. Out of all the other animatronics, this one's the worst. I hate him. I hate him. He's got those fucking bug eyes. He's not looking in any direction. He's got fucking Tink Snaggletooth. No. Smoky Mountain Hoedown. Not for me, I think. That's a no from me. Probs not. No. Ew! Oh no! Ew! This is like so ill with the gorilla. This is so close to being a Five Nights at Freddy's nightmare. We should send this to the guy from to Scott, whatever the fuck, whoever makes the Five Nights at Freddy's. Look at all these characters they're giving him! A clown coming out of a cannon, a gorilla in a suit. Yeah, dude, these are perfect. An abandoned, abandoned theme park is the next perfect place for him to take the next video game. And you actually have to walk around a theme park? This is perfect inspiration for the Five Nights at Freddy's guy. No picture taken with- oh god. Why would you- what is happening? 
Whose pelvis bone is that, dude? What's happening? F6, yeah, dude, I would honestly play it. If it was, if it took place, oh my god. If it took place at a, at a, oh god. at a theme park, I'd be in. What is happening? Is this where they make the animatronics? Is that Chuck E. Cheese, dude? Chuck Excalibur Cheese. I hate these. Oh my god. Ew. Is that the Grinch? Is that fucking Miss Piggy? Oh no. Oh, dude. Ew. Did the rats get to that one? What happened? Is that Snoopy? Oh my god. A lion, of course. <laughs> That's Charles Lactose. Oh no, Gilly. <laughs> Charles Lactose. I love these. These are sick. Ew. Why did that apple have a face? With a moving mouth. Is a snowman? Whatever the fuck that is. Some of these look like they were made by the billionaire and then other things were like commissioned. Like that one where he definitely made himself when he was going crazy. That's the Tin Man, dude! Oh no. Oh no. He's from Cuphead, a little bit. Oh, look at this outdoor shack area, dude. We should make an amusement park on the Minecraft server? I'm down. Dude, it looks like he just got hit over the head. <laughs> that looks like he, the video is about to be over. Dude, it's so creepy. Ew, are those baby bottle lids? What? What is this? Is this a body wrapped in ribbons? What is happening? What am I looking at? What, what am I looking at? What was that? Opera house. Oh. Wow, this is just like the Sydney Opera House. Oh, God. That's a long body. <laughs> Oh jeez, well that's creepy. So this is where they do like stage productions or whatever. Dude, if even in, in its prime, this would have been the most boring theme park I'd ever gone to. Like even at its prime, I would have hated this. Is that a G-string? No kids theme park is complete without a fucking G-string on the floor, dude. Fair enough. There's some more paint from when he went crazy. Oh no. What has he done? Dude. I can't believe this man is exploring this on his own. How, how are you going to explore this on, this on your own, dude? Bring a friend. Bring a friend, just in case. You know, like, what are you doing on your own? KFC fried chicken? Oh my god. That old fucking bucket slowly fucking deteriorating? That's everything. I'm surprised he hasn't found any dead animals. Every other one, it's like, here's a dead bird. Oh, in a church, of course. Although, it feels a little like it's not a real church. Coffin. Oh, imagine there's like a mummified corpse in there. You got, gotta have a co coffin with a hole so you can see the body on the inside. Oh god. Oh my fucking god, you fucking d Imagine he just turns and opens his eyes. He's just like, oh, jeez. Oh, the prison ward, of course. Some chicken in there? I don't know, dude. Probably not. <laughs> Hope not. You can definitely see that the oil was, like, deteriorating it, though. My man, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Dude, wow. Thank you for watching, dude. Dude, that was wild. <laughs> that was 30 minutes. That was crazy. I can- and the story behind it is so crazy. Like, no other one had a story that wacky. Like, the Starcourt Mall- Mall has a story of, um... It had a story of, uh, where a woman was killed by her boyfriend and stored in one of the restaurants, and that really, like, brought down the, um... It really brought down the, uh, vibe of the mall. Um, but other than that, it didn't have anything that wacky. 
Um, I never want to see that bear animatronic ever again with his fucking snaggle tooth. Disgusting. I hated that.